Hi, did you know that there is a direct connection between the level of carbon dioxide in your blood and the release of oxygen to your cells, tissues and organs? Would you like to know how changing your breathing patterns and habits can help you to oxygenate your cells, tissues and organs in your body better? This is Your Breath YouTube channel. My name is Brian Murphy and I work as a Boteco breathing practitioner. I also have a background in education for nearly 20 years. Today I'm going to share with you information about a principle called the Bohr effect. The Bohr effect was first discovered by a Danish physiologist called Christian Bohr in 1904. It states that the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen changes depending on the level of carbon dioxide in your blood. So what does this mean for you and your breathing? In simple terms, the Bohr effect states that the higher the level of carbon dioxide in your blood, the greater the release of oxygen from your hemoglobin, which makes up most 95% of your red blood cells, to your cells, tissues and organs. Conversely, the lower the level of carbon dioxide in your blood, the less the oxygen is released from the hemoglobin and the more it binds onto the hemoglobin and does not go to those cells, tissues and organs. The Buteco breathing programs focus on training you to breathe strictly through your nose day in day out and to breathe less volume of air. In doing so, you directly access the benefits of the Bohr effect. When you breathe through your nose, because your nostrils are smaller than your oral cavity, you are breathing in and out less volume of air and this helps you access the Bohr effect. As when you are breathing in and out less, you are retaining more carbon dioxide and that is allowing for a greater release of oxygen from your hemoglobin to your cells, tissues and organs. Your hemoglobin carries oxygen around your body. On a day to day basis it is saturated with 95 to 99 percent oxygen. But it is not enough just to have the oxygen on the hemoglobin. We need the oxygen to leave the hemoglobin to go to your working tissues cells and muscles to oxygenate them. Here is where carbon dioxide plays a vital role. Carbon dioxide facilitates the release of oxygen from the hemoglobin to your cells, tissues and organs. You can make powerful use of the Bohr effect today by beginning your journey of breathing strictly through your nose as a habit and learning to breathe less. This involves retraining the breathing center of your brain to tolerate higher levels of carbon dioxide, which then allows for that greater release of oxygen internally to your uh, muscles, cells, tissues and organs. All of the exercises in the Buteco breathing program focus on this, training you to breathe always through your nose and to breathe less. If you'd like to access some of these exercises, simply follow the link below and click on the Buteco breathing exercises that I've created in this channel. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video about the Bohr effect. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment box below and I will answer as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and you'll get more information free of charge about breathing and how it can improve your health and wellness. Thank you for watching. Bye.